check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Welcome to Kempner Canucks. My name is Rev Trev, and it's another victory for our Canucks. What a game. What a day. What a night. Wow. 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 I I just, I think we should just stop for a moment and think about this. That team we beat, that team we beat is no pushover. They're a playoff team. They're legitimately good. And we walked in there into their barn and came away with the dub. I don't think Vancouver is getting enough credit for what is happening in Vancouver. And I know that they're everyone, everyone's kind of at the stage where they're saying things like, oh yeah, Vancouver's good, but uh, you know, they're first place, but listen, no buts about it. This team is for real. This team is legitimate. This team is trying to contend and and win a Stanley Cup. We're all in. We are all in. We are all in. Everyone's in. Aquilini's in. Vigneault is in. Vigneault. Vigneault. Wrong, wrong. (laughs) Vigneault. That's hilarious. (laughs) Alvi. Rutherford. The players have bought in. Everybody is all in. That was hilarious. That was absolutely Vigneault. <laughs> all right. I'm so happy to have everyone here. We already have 25 people. So great to have you. This was kind of the interesting. The big question is, were you impressed that there was no all-star game slump? Because I know a lot of people were saying, we don't want all these guys here because they, you know, they want to have that all-star break rest. Meanwhile, in Vancouver, um, or on the Canucks, I should say, six All-Stars, including Lindholm, goes to All-Star Weekend. They don't have the greatest All-Star Weekend, but it was fun to see them play and perform and compete at the high level. It was awesome to see. It was the first team since 1998 that had that many um, All-Stars at a game. It was just a sea of blue. It was so awesome. But we didn't have a slump, right? We didn't have a slump. And so were you impressed that there was no all-star slump? I I'm, I was kind of thinking that we weren't going to look so good. And, and here we are, three to two. Road Warriors again, everyone. Road Warriors, let's go. Let's go. Okay, if you haven't, followed me on Kempner Canucks on Instagram, Facebook, X, or YouTube, please take a moment to do that. Also, if you could do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe. Just smash it right now. Um, it helps my channel. Helps it. So hit the like and subscribe right there. You can follow me on my socials. And I love making Canucks content that is passionate, realistic, and honest. So glad that you're here. So let's get into the game. And I want to dive into your comments tonight. And we'll see if there's any comments about Coach Rob Willie is very impressed with this win. Um, Look at this. Spark is saying 18, 2, and 4 since December 5th. That's insane. That's insane. Um, Casey, good to see you. Member Casey, member Rob, uh, Willie. You guys are here in the building. Awesome to have you here. Carolina is pretty elite. I'm very happy with the Canucks win in regulation. I agree with you guys. Absolutely. And um, and disturbed. Welcome, good to have you here. Love the graphic, by the way. That is such a cool, um, cool logo. Um, get this: Boston loses to the Calgary Flames. Wow! Thank you, Calgary. 
<laughs> Angelo, good to see you, man. Good to see you. Okay, we're gonna get into a whole bunch of stuff, and I'm getting to you're gonna get to your comments, but good to have everyone here. Let's go to here's the pregame. Okay. I mean, I don't know if you've been living under a rock, but we made a bit of a trade. It's kind of a big deal. <laughs> and Lindholm came to play. It was his first game. And then Demko's in net, and Petey and Lindholm are playing together. And um, what did you think about that line? What did you guys think about Pedersen and um, and uh, Lindholm together? Uh, I would love to know. Oh, like I said, I love making passionate, realistic, and honest Canucks content. Hit that like and subscribe, everyone. If you are there, uh, if you can, that would be great. Guys, I know you want to talk about Lindholm tonight, but I just want to stop and say we need a JT Miller appreciation stream, another game-winning goal, guys and, and girls, uh, another game-winning goal. I don't know if you know this just in, JT Miller is really good. He's an all-star. He's fantastic. He plays crazy, gritty hockey, and he can score. And I just want to take a moment before we get into Lindholm talk, I want to talk about JT. He is a man on the, he's a, he's a JT Miller's a machine. If you are a member in, on YouTube and if, if you want to subscribe, definitely go to my channel, um, go to membership or hit the join button. And there's two options there for a Rev Trev membership or a next level membership. would love any kind of support. In the um, emojis is the JT Miller appreciation emoji. Post them in the comments, everyone. If you're a member, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Okay, let's dive into what everyone wants to talk about tonight. What did you guys think about Lynn Holmes' first game? Not just the goals. Obviously, those tips are amazing. Reminding me of Hoaglander uh, getting those tips. And who else has been tipping them? Was it, has it been Kuzi? No, I can't remember who was. Um, Pedersen? I, I, I don't remember. But what did you think about Lynn Holmes' whole game? I want you to post in the comments right now what you thought about his whole game, and how, what you what you're impressed with, what you what you uh, what you thought about him, because that's the biggest talk in the town. And then we get we pull out the big victory, right? So, want to dive into some of those comments? Um, oh yeah, there we go. We got it going. We got it going. We got the JT hype, everyone. JT hype. Okay. Um, and Curtis just loves that line with Petey and Lindholm. All right, I want to see. All right, I, I do want to see this one. So, Daniel, good to have you here as well. We have an elite team, two goals on blatant mistakes, and still one. That's very impressive in its in and itself. Uh, also, Oilers win st winning streak is finally over. A bit relieved, honestly. I think they came back to earth. Yeah, we're gonna get into that in a little minute. Um, who do, hey uh, James, welcome. Who reminds you of Joel uh, Joel Pavelski? Lindholm. That's interesting. That's interesting, man. In what ways? Like, I mean, scoring machine can play. I don't know. I, I would love to hear a little bit more on that. Um, and I'm always in to give Juleson a lot of credit for just how he's playing and he's. Earned his right to be an NHLer. I love it. I love watching this young man play. He is fantastic in my my books. Okay, let's go. Here's the other thing about the Canucks play, guys. What did you think about Zadorov's play? Now he had the monster hit, but I think that Coach Talkett's not going to be happy, right? By the way, look at my cup. Isn't this cool? This is hockey cup. It's for actually for hot stuff like coffee or I don't drink coffee but um not because I only because I just don't like the taste but um you know whether it's hot chocolate or some kind of tea or whatever it is right but I've got water in here because you always got to stay hydrated for the streams <laughs> but um isn't that sweet isn't that cool I can't remember whose this is it might be my son's or mine I don't know um what did you think of Zadorov's play Because I have a feeling that Tockett's going to be ticked off. I think he's going to be really ticked off about Zadorov's play tonight. And so I'd love to hear your thoughts, your comments. 
about Zadorov. And again, just a reminder, like we can't downplay this, uh, this opponent guys. The Hurricanes are a legitimate playoff team. They are real deal. Like they're trying to win the Stanley Cup. They they they're they're um a very solid lineup top to bottom. Now I know that some people don't think that their goaltending's that great, but other than that, everyone, other than that, this team, this team is for real. And we went into their barn and beat them. I think that's an amazing, amazing thing. Just a reminder. My Canucks February prediction video is up and it's going really well. I think I've already got a thousand views on it. If you haven't watched it yet, please take a moment to watch it. I go into detail at every game. I predicted that we were going to win tonight. Um, now we play Boston next and then was it Detroit and then Boston? I don't know how it works. Can't remember. We'll, we'll look, go into that in a second, but we'll get, we'll get, uh, we'll get in there. So I want to be, I want to just, Jump in and see uh, what? Let's go. Sakaris and Price are here. Good to have you guys. Big fan of your channel. I watch a lot of your content, so thank you so much for showing up. Good to have you. Awesome, awesome to have you here. Um, Viper, hey, man, good to have you as well. Let's talk about this game, okay? So James says about Lindholm, strong net presence, because he's saying it's like Joe Pavelski, right? Tipping in pucks, being in the right place at the right time. Pavelski does that all the time. Yep, I love that. Um, Angelo says that Tockett was furious on that last play. Yep, yep, I understand. Mr. Joker, good to have you here. Who does Canucks who does Canucks rather face in the playoffs? Vegas or the Oilers? It's a good question. It's a good question. I I think you in order to beat uh, to be the best, you gotta beat the best. Do you understand? So I'm not shying away. I don't think this team needs to shy away from anyone. Now, granted, Vegas is the Stanley Cup champs. I did predict them at the beginning of the season to win the whole thing again. I've, I predict, predicted them to go back to back. But I'm telling you right now, I did not think this Canucks team was going to be this good. So, um, But the Oilers have been for real, but they, they can't beat Vegas for some reason. That is their kryptonite. So hopefully they play each other. Um. Yeah, and then they got scored. They scored on the next shift, right? So, Talkit hates Russian players. He does. I don't think so. I don't think so. Absolutely, they are. They they are cans canes. No cans have best shot against league. Oh yeah, the can the canes average twenty five shots on goal. To pot three on 19 is a good for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, our Canucks are, are, that is so awesome, right? Hey, man. Yep, yeah, he they're in here. And I'm glad you're here too because, by the way, those are cool. Is that you? Because that those are the awesomest glasses ever, just saying, <laughs> in your profile picture. Edmonton finally lost. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's talk about the Canucks here, guys. Third line of the Canucks is unbelievable tonight. Absolutely. Every single game, these guys are pr producing, right? Yes. We're excited to have Sakaris and Price here. I'm wondering if it's Sakaris and Price. I I'm thinking it's... Um, starts with a G. <laughs> Grady? Grady. So, I would like to see Suter with Elias rather than McKeb. I agree with you, James, 100%. If I was a coach, that's what I'd be doing. Um, Lynn Holm is tough to evaluate. Didn't know him much, but he also didn't make a mistake I can think of. Now, Rick Tockett, just so you know, Daniel, Rick Tockett did talk about it. He said that if when you go back and watch the tape, you're going to be very impressed with Lynn Holm. So, um, you know, had the two tipping goals, but uh, he was very impressed, he said. Um, Canucks didn't give up many chances. I'm sure lots of that is Lynn Holm. Former Selkie finalist. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, you meant the Canes. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I love those glasses. And the mustache is pretty cool, too. I'm not a mustache guy, but those look, the glasses and the mustache looks cool. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. It was Grady. Yeah. Ruben, my friend, good to see you. I'm just happy that we are doing, we are doing this good at this point of the season. Soaking it in. That's right. And, uh, Thanks, S. Uh, Sir Harrison Price, for supporting me and for all of our fans. We, we, we're Canuck fans are awesome. I'm just saying that. 
I didn't expect us to be this great when I started this channel. I had no idea Vancouver fans were going to be this low. I thought I thought there was going to be some pretty angry uh, negative fans. And I know there are, is in every fan base, but this fan base, Ruben, is actually totally impressed me. And uh, I'm loving doing this. And here's the thing, Ruben. I keep, people keep saying you guys need to pump the brakes. And I have been saying since day one, we're not pumping the brakes. We're hitting the gas. We're believing in this team. And uh, they're going, they're making noise this year. Um, I would love to see a cup this year. I'm not sure we're going to get there, but I, we definitely have a good chance as anybody in the league, as anybody in the league. So I'm, I'm enjoying the ride just like you are. So, yeah, Suter is more Cerebro for sure. Um, what a great goal from Elias. Yeah, dude, those tips were amazing, right, Curtis? They were absolutely there. Dreamer, did the third line take a break or just practice together? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, man. That's a good question. I thought McKayev was good this game. Yeah, I mean, he needs to be. He needs to be better because he's been pretty much a ghost and invisible out there. Um, but yes, he had a bit of a jump, right? So nine straight warrior, nine straight, baby. That is awesome. And everyone wants to talk about the Oilers. Can we just talk about the Canucks, right? The positive energy you put out. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. And Curtis, yeah, let's let's continue to let, be happy that, that Sakaris and Price is here. Good to have everyone. Okay, so, but I mean, you're, I'm happy you're here too. Um, Mr. Whale, good to see you, bro. Good to see you. Good to have you in the stream. Myers actually pretty reliable. I'm, I've been saying that he's looked different this year. I think with the less amount of minutes, the, the less amount of responsibility, he's actually playing his game. So, Casey, I'm glad you noticed it as well. Shane, I'm so glad you came to this channel again tonight. I love how regular you are, how supportive you are. I want to say how much I appreciate you. So, um, how many games are the Canucks on a winning streak since the All-Star break? Well, since the All-Star great break. We're undefeated, baby. <laughs> but um, nine-game winning streak, is that what he said? Yeah, whatever whatever he said there, that's that's what it was. So, Daniel, I think most of the time, if you're not noticing someone outside of their production, it means they're doing everything right. Yeah, because they didn't do a, a blatant um, uh, a giveaway. They also, you know, I mean, he got a score sheet twice. So, like, I mean, he you can notice them there, right? So... Canucks have a have points in eleven straight games. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I don't. I actually Viper. I don't think that's the record. I think it's ten zero and two. That's the record. So, so Shane, there's your answer. I think it's ten zero and two. I think I saw. I read that tonight. Mister Will says Demko matched a Canucks all time goalie win streak. It was nine games from Kluche. Please, Demko needs to beat. It versus, oh man, Mr. Well, think about that. Demko, okay, wasn't that the best part of the All-Star game as a Canucks fan when Demko didn't hug Swayman? It's like, now, part of me thinks that he didn't see him. I don't know if he knows history. Well, he does know his, he knows history of, the, like everyone keeps saying that. But listen, that was the best part. <laughs> Okay, maybe it wasn't the best part. But for me, it was one of my favorite parts for sure. One of my favorite parts of the year. Not hugging Swayman. It's like, get lost, Boston Bruins. <laughs> you know, I mean, get lost, you guys. You have your cup. Be happy. We're not friends. <laughs> We're not friends, okay? <laughs> We're, I'm, or, or I'm not giving you a hug. Forget it. Not when the cameras are on. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just love that. So I hope he, I'm with you. I hope he beats them. McKayev had a decent night, finally. Yep. You think that we're going to smash the 2010 record for 54 wins? I hope so, Angela. That'd be awesome. Okay. Perfect night for us. Everyone, uh, we wanted to lose, lost, and we won. Lindholm is going to be awesome. I know. I, Jack, I've been thinking about a name. Like, is Lindholm going to be a legend in Vancouver? That's what I want to know. I know. Uh, I'm happy for Coos as well. And I'm looking forward to the Boston game. So, Daniel, I said outside of their production, his production speaks volumes. Yep. 
Okay, Curtis, I think Lindholm has well was welcomed back in Carolina. You know what? That's where he got drafted, right? And that this was a big game for him. So hope he continues it. McCabe is playing good, especially when it can be between two, one and two to fully re recover from his injury. Yes. And people don't talk about that enough, Dreamer. That injury is significant. And I don't think we're going to see the, the healthy, like 100% McCabe until next season. But I love the fact that he's, he's, he's playing now, right? So I want Swayman and Demko to start the next game. Yeah, it's going to and a goalie fight. That would be awesome. Let's do it. Let's see it. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> Canucks are going all the way. We're for real. You know what, Shane? You have been saying that. You have been saying that since day one that we're going all the way. So I appreciate the optimism. Yeah, bye-bye Las Vegas and bye-bye Calgary. Yep. Carol, welcome to the channel. Good to have you here. So great to have you. Um, all right, Matt, good to have you. Oh, that is Bernstein Bears. That's awesome. Boston is next. I'd like to see our new uh, right shot center go bar down off the rush. If you know, you know, right? Right? Absolutely. Um, Carolina hates Lindholm. Apparently, when he went to Calgary, he did something. Oh, really? I didn't know that. They booed him when he scored. Really? That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, Carol, thank you so much for gifting a membership. That is awesome. I wonder who got it. Um, that would be, That's so great. So give some Carol some hype. Canucks are going to win the league. That's right, Shane. You're right. Yeah, good to see you, Carol. Good to see you. Did you enjoy the game? Because, I mean, that that's a big win. Uh, did Shane get it? Did Shane get the, that would be awesome if she did, if you did. Okay, Carol Hype, yeah. Shane got the membership. Shane, because you haven't had a membership before, post it in the comments. Use the emojis right now. They're really fun to use. They're awesome. I made all of them myself, so. Lynn Holm. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Awesome, awesome. Okay. So I want to talk about a couple more things before we get into more um, stuff. This is a, a legitimate question, though. Now we know that they are. Where did I put it? Okay, this is a this is something I was concerned about. Shots on goal were twenty four nineteen for Carolina. Okay, which is fine. But does it concern you that the Van that Vancouver only had four shots in the second period and only three shots in the third? Now, granted, one of those shots went in, and we ended up as Miller, and we won. But does that does does that surprise you and does that concern you? Like seven shots in two periods, just not good enough, right? Now, if we go, if I go to share screen here and I go to this game, okay? Look at this, everyone. Okay, so here's the shots on goal. 12 shots by Vancouver, a fantastic first period. And then look at this. It was a flip. The first period and the third period literally flipped, and they they outplayed us by double shots wise. There, the fact is, right here is the key: goals matter, shots don't always. But if you look at the numbers, twenty four shots in goal, nineteen face offs were basically even. Power play, we were two for three. They were one for two. They also, I believe, they had a short handed goal, didn't they? Let me see here. Yeah, first goal is shorthanded. Everything else, everything was special teams until five on five. JT Miller, let's go game win. Let's do some appreciation for JT. Okay, so penalty minutes was only six four. Look at the hits. I love that we out hit them. We destroyed them in the block shots and then the giveaways. Wow, fifteen to three. That's insane. Look at this. We swept them. We only beat them by one goal both games. That's impressive, but I'm loving this. I am loving this. JT Miller, are you kidding me? So awesome. So awesome, everyone. Okay, let's get into some more of your comments. Where are we here? All right, Carol. Yes, I enjoyed the game. It was great to have some power play goals, but it's too bad they got a shorty. Yep. 
I was disappointed in the sh- shorty as well. Garland is playing like a $7 million player right now. Joshua and Bluger at about $4 million apiece. What a steal. Count your blessings, Connect fans. And that's what winning teams do, right, James? Is that they have guys on their roster that are exceeding their contracts. Two, for too long, this Vancouver team overpaid players and didn't get production, a.k.a. Louis Erickson. Um you know, people like that, right? Like even, even Tyler Myers, right? He was not playing to what his contract was. So there have been people for a while now getting paid when and not producing, but I love it when they produce as well. I don't care if you make the money, just produce. Okay. I don't care. I don't, if we're going to pay Patterson, cool. That's fine. Just produce PD, just produce. Don't go into slums. Well, I mean, everyone's slums, but don't go into like, well, this season I didn't do so good. I mean, we can't afford that. We can't afford it. Okay. So, Lindholm trolled Carolina with the Viking clap. Oh, that's right. I remember watching that, that clip when Calgary beat Carolina and Carolina. That's why they booed him. Okay. Ruben says, best case scenario, we win in the West. And the Bruins get the curse of the President's Trophy again. I don't care what happens to the Bruins, other than it would be great to see him in a first round getting knocked out again. I'd love that. I'd love it. So, oh, good. And I also love Shane that you're you've just put that in the in the chat. Okay, the third line deserved two goals tonight. Yes, Mister Rell, absolutely. They played so good, so good. Look at all this. Everyone using their stuff. This is so much fun. The Zdorov one, I really like. I got the Drago one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's see. Canes had some unreal defense, probably some of the best in the league. First in the pe- par- yeah, penalty kill. Yep. We couldn't generate offense. Yeah, it's true. It's true. We'll give them some credit there. But we scored two goals on them on the par- penalty kills. So that's pretty impressive. Canucks had the most had most of the possession in the first and second periods. Good point. Wait until Lindholm plays in Vancouver. The fans will be happy to see him. Yes, we they are going to be pumped. Canucks don't shoot just for shots. They shoot to score. That's right, Viper. That's right. Um, J-Lo, good to have you here. Just watch the post-game Miller interview. I haven't had time to watch it yet. I thought he got a bit emotional when he asked about Quinn. He said all the positive things. Oh, give you chills. I'm going to have to check that out. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, just a reminder, everyone, Clay's on at 11. So make, make sure you check him out. He does great work as well. Um, scared, uh, Is it Sportsnet 650 said Garland on another team could be playing on the first line? Uh I don't know about that. That's I think that's overreaction theater, to be honest with you guys. I mean, what? I mean, what team? Calgary? <laughs> Chicago? Yeah. Yeah, right? And it, I like Chicago too, but... Hughes always comes in clutch in these games. Uh, when he gets the puck we're and we are down, you just know he'll make something happen. Yeah, Quinn Hughes is a stud. He's like elite of elite. Him and McCarr, they literally are such a thrill to watch. They are magical on the ice. They are just magicians on skates, like crazy good. I just love watching Hughes. He is a joy to watch, and we should not take him for granted. Um, Okay, so here's my take, Jay, on the Lynn Home trade. As you guys saw all my videos, I don't like overpaying for people And I don't like paying a lot for rental players. I don't like trading for rental players very much. But I like the Zadorov trade because it was so far in advance. So I also like the Lindholm trade because it kind of made the domino effect. And I'm so glad we didn't go and get Sean Monaghan. I would not have been happy if that was the guy we got. Getting Lindholm, I'm happy with. If there was someone that we were going to do a potential rental. Lynn Holm is the guy I would have targeted. I do think he's talented. I do think he makes our team better. So at the end of the day, it's not that I love the trade more or less. Well, I guess 
I do love the trade more than I did at the beginning. I still don't like it if we don't resign him. I don't like it. But at the same time, I would like that we move. Kuzmenko was not going to play, even though I'm a huge fan. I am a massive Kuzmenko fan. Under Rick Tockett, he was not going to do what he needed to do. Like, he's not the player Rick needs and getting Lynn home. So I'm hoping, I conclude with this. I'm hoping, for my sake, <laughs> for the Canucks' sake, we somehow find a way to re-sign Lynn home and it's not like $9 million a year. That's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping, everyone. So... Uh, she's got a point. Who, what are we talking about here? I, I don't know where that is. Okay. Do you think the Canucks can? Yeah. Well, I don't think they can, but I've been wrong about contract uh, extensions and all that stuff in the past. So I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. I'm really hoping we do. I really hope that we do. My fingers yellow, orange. Yes. I had some of those, uh, Chips tonight. I wonder if my other fingers don't oh, see. Yeah, it was these ones here. That's crazy. Like when I'm looking at my fingers, I don't see much orange at all. <laughs> Sorry, that, I'm like, whoa, squirrel. <laughs> um, my son and I were watching top, the second Top Gun uh, movie, and uh, we had some chips together. So that's guilty, red-handed or orange-handed. So, yeah, so back to the question. I really hope we can, and I really hope he has a great time in Vancouver and he wants to stay here because at a sweet, as a Swedish player, not only do you want to get paid, but Vancouver is so popular in Sweden that you, basically if you're a, sweet, you're a fan of Sweden, you're a fan of Vancouver. Like, that's just, it feels like it goes hand in hand. So I think, you know, for all of his friends and family, Back home, having a Lynn home, Canucks jersey, having him stay in Vancouver, I think that's a big deal. So I, I really hope we get it. So, okay. Daniel, I'd like to see the Canucks get more going five on five lately, not special teams. I, I don't care how we score. I don't care as long as we score. But And the five on five goal was the game winning goal. So, but Caroline, like, See, before, this is the pet, my pet peeve. Okay, I didn't read your whole thing. Let me just, but Carolina held Arizona shot list in the third recently and only had three shots in the second. So three shots, okay. So I just find that everyone complains about this, Daniel. And I'm not trying to pick you out, but here, but like friends. So some of my friends beginning of the season said, Canucks only score we're on the, on, we're on the power play. So then we really struggled on the power play. And then people are like, we can't score five on five. And it's like, well, you it's very hard to do both. I mean, of course you want them to do both. But like tonight, they did both and they won, right? And if it wasn't for the playoff go, uh, play, power play goals, we wouldn't have won this game. And so I'm okay with that. I just, I would prefer if we didn't let goals in while we're on the power play. But other than that, okay, Curtis. Here is a good question for you, Trev. World funds uh, be disappointment when Kuzi comes to Vancouver. Uh, would would funds be dis? No, I don't understand what you're saying. Anyways, oh, I mean fans. No, I I think there's going to be appreciation, Curtis, for Kuzi. I really do. I really do. So I give the most. Give most of that credit, Carolina. They shut. Yeah, yeah. Good point. That that's that's a great point. You continue with for sure. They're they're real deal. Um, just a reminder, everyone. Um, please take a moment to hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, let me just bring up this banner because I like this one. I made this one. I, I hope that you guys like it too. Um, yeah. So let's get back to this comment. Where is it? Okay. Um, great day. Col Colin, good to have you here. Great debut for Lindy and for Kuzi. Yeah, I was excited for both of them. And you know what made me happy about the Kuzi one? Not only did he score, but they beat Boston. That just, it was like the double whammy. It was so cool. Uh, Casey says, I hope Lindholm works so well that he, that him and PD sign here for a number that works. I agree. I agree. That would be great. Um, 
I think we, I don't know if we should. I think we could. And if we did, he's fantastic. So, Mr. Well, I'm on board. But I, again, is it rental? I don't think it's a rental for him, is it? I, I, I can you, someone post in the comments. I think he's on a multi year contract, but maybe I'm wrong on that. I, I love that guy, though. Okay, hopefully we don't get Tanev. For, no, we're not getting Tanev. We're not getting Tanev. How much would you offer Lynn Holman for how long? Oh, man, I haven't even thought about this. I haven't thought about this, but I'm not offering him nine. And I don't know if eight's really even there, but for me, I would offer him 7.5 for four years and see if he'll take it and start the negotiation there. Come on, like, come on, Lindholm. Come on. You want to play on a good team? You want to play on a crap team like Calgary? Like, honestly, not going to make the playoffs. You're going to go, you want to go somewhere else that like, they're not, they don't have a chance. You can make your money. Cool, right? But why don't you make a lot of money still? You're going to still make a lot of money with Vancouver. I don't know. I just think, I think Coach Rob really, that's what I would do. Love Koozie too. And he loves the Canucks. He sure, uh, he made sure that they beat the Bruins tonight. Yes, we are legitimately number. By the way, JLo, I don't know if you saw that, but I made a video. Um, I don't know if it was the Lindholm video, the Monaghan video, and a Boston Bruin fan came in and started roast trying to roast us. And he was like so brutal that because I like Canucks are first place. And he's like, you know, and then he's like, Boston. I'm like, no, technically we're tied in points and we have one more win. So we're ahead of you. We're number one. You're number two. And then he went low blow and started talking about the riots in Vancouver. And then I'm like, that's it. It was in one of my YouTube shorts. I I, I just let him have it. <laughs> and and let him have it was like, yeah, you got to go there. Like, we, we haven't been good in years and years and years. And you got to talk about the riots. Like, are you kidding me right now? Yeah, Angela, I, I think it would be really cool if you did. I think I think that's what the reality is. No, no, he wants Frank, right? Or I think he wants Frank. Canucks will have about 40 million cap size next year with the cap going up. No, the cap doesn't go up for us, Viper, because we have to pay um, OEL's contract still, right? So it's not as much as everyone else. Yeah, they, if we sign Lynn home, basically we're not bringing Myers back and we're not bringing Zordorov back. We just need to know that. What kind of chips? It was those, um, the mixed kind. The what's, they have the pretzels, the the um, they weren't they're not Doritos or they're kind of like the Doritos ones. It's the ones you get at Costco, the big blue bag. They were I don't know. They're like they're, there's tons of them. They had the, like the, not the cheap. They had the cheesy stuff in them too. I, can you guys? I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I don't know. How many how many points did Huey get tonight? I don't know. That's a good question. Let me look. One, two. He had two two points tonight. How do you feel when EP isn't contributing? Okay, I've been I've been very. I wouldn't say critical, but honest about PD's play. I don't like it when he's not on. But he's on more than he's off, so I'm pretty happy with him. I'm pretty happy with him this season. And he's on pace to, like, get over 100 points again. So I, I can't complain. Yeah, two, two assists. Okay, Lindholm looked awesome. Duck, you're right. Okay, I'm looking, James, looking forward to this. Fun facts. Elias and Ilya uh, mean Elijah in their respective Swedish and Russian languages. Elijah means uh, Lord is God. Destiny? Or just coincidental. Woo! Interesting nonetheless. That is interesting. Thanks for sharing that. I like those little fun facts. Those are good. Okay. Um, disturbed. By the way, disturbed. I've really been appreciating your comments in the in the videos. So thanks. And and James as well. That it's been fun. Uh Carolina has great defense, but weak trending weak tending. 
they should go in all after Allen or Gibson. They should. They should. Okay. Well, Oilers streak ended. I can't lie. I was doing a cartwheel when the final buzzer sounded. Really, Duck? I would love. Should have got that on video. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. So let's let's talk about that. Let's talk. We've we've talked about the Canucks for a while, and I'm thankful that like this is a Canucks channel. It's not an Oilers channel. Okay. I want to hear in the comments what were your thoughts about the Oilers and Vegas game. I watched mm, maybe a period of it. Um, I saw the goal, the game-winning goal. I didn't see the third goal because um, I was watching the movie with my son. And they kept saying it was a playoff-type game. I also felt like the Vancouver-Carolina game was, was that way. So what are your thoughts about the Oilers-Vegas game both the Oilers streak coming to end. I part of me wishes they would get it. And then part of me wishes I, I was really happy that they lost. So I don't know. I'd love to hear your comments though. Okay. Let's get, we've got some uh, predictions here for where did I see that? I love it that you guys did this. Okay. We will take any win. Not every game will be. Yeah, no, you're right, Picasso. Yes, Trev, but we can't count on the power play every game. I think you you should expect to count on the power play every game. You should. Like, you have one more or two more players on the ice. I think you should you should expect that we have at least one power play goal all night. That's just, I, I'm not trying to be, like, too super simplify it, okay? But at the end of the day, that's what you should expect. Yeah, I understand. When we didn't get a single power play, that I mean, there were times where we still looked dangerous but didn't score, right? Five on five is super important. You're right. Okay. Canucks always find a way to win with power play. Or, yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're right, Mr. Whale. If we do six to 7.5 for Lindholm, I'm happy. I know he's not making six but he's going to get more than that. Six times 7.5. I, I think I'd like that. Uh, 6.5 times six. I don't know if he would do it because that's why he left Calgary. He wants nine. So I don't think he, I don't think he's going to drop from nine to 6.5 to be honest with you guys. But I, I do like the thought. And, and if he does, trust me, I'm going to be very, very happy. But he can't make more than JT. I agree. I agree. Exactly 7.6 for four years. I said 7.5, right? So Colin, you and I are right there. I like Koozie Flames interview. Miss him. I didn't see that one. Uh, Angelo, if you can you post it in um on the socials, either on Instagram or on my Facebook uh, page. Uh, that would be great. Kempner Canucks, please post that interview in there for me. I'd appreciate that. Interviews with Lindholm, definitely a downgrade over Kuzi. <laughs> yeah, you're right, right? Oh, I, I, Canucks, or no, not Canucks, NHL players with no pizzazz, just frustrating. Swedes need to learn not to be so serious, right? Four million, but OEL is 2.4, yes. Oh, only, okay, well, same, close, close. If the Canucks go to the conference final or even win the cup, I think that think the chance of signing Lindholm goes way up. 100%, Daniel. And a lot will depend on our own post on our postseason. For sure, I agree 1,000%. Canuck culture is great and hope it continues so players will play here. Winning is fun. And that's the thing. Like, if we don't sign Lindholm, I hope we sign Zadorov. I think that'd be awesome. All right. Parties, chips? No, I think it was something else. I, I, I just got I got to find that out. How do you go Costco? Let's go see. Can we get into food at Costco? Can we? Do, I'm just going to bring it up real quick here. Why is this taking so long? Chips. I'm going to put chips in. Come on. 85 results. <laughs> oh my goodness. 85 results to chips. Are you kidding me right now? Why isn't it coming up? Not ruffles. 
There's like a Mac. Oh, because it's microchips. Are you kidding me? Oh, I don't, I, I can't find it. Sorry, everyone. Don't want to waste your time with that. Munchies. That's exactly it. And I had it up there the whole time. I must have clicked on your <laughs> munchies mix. That's what it is. Thank you. I should just, I always got to trust the chat. Got to remember that for next stream. Okay. We might be okay. If we don't sign Myers and Zadorov, we got another big Swedish elite. Yes. Dude, we're I think we're loaded defense defense in the and you know that's why I was worried about trading Hunter, honestly, is because I do feel like he's going to be an NHL player. He's third, he was third in OHL scoring, like as a defenseman, not in the def, just a defenseman, like forwards, defensemen, everybody. He was third. So I didn't want to move him, but I understand why Calgary wanted him. Yes, you're right, Disturbed. Yep, 100%. When he's on, he looks like the franchise center. And when he's terrible, he's off. Man, he's bad. Edmund, welcome. Howdy. Best debut from a Canucks trade pickup. Yeah. Made more of an impact than anything Bavillier has done. <laughs> True. <laughs> Dave RV, he knows because he, he loves traveling and he's, he's on the RV circuit and he's got those munchies in there. Munchies mix. Yeah, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Thanks so much for the support. I appreciate it a lot. And can I just say that you were speaking facts. It's not that we're like trying to like be mean to people, but like what I think is when people make comments like, for example, the it's low bar comments, right? Like we want to talk about the riots that happened in 2011. Are you kidding me right now? Like we're talking about 2024, we're, we're rolling, and I love that you came with facts. I came with facts. Let's just keep with that way. Here's another fun fact, Mr. Well. Lynn Holm means 24 Stanley Cup champion. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Glad Vegas won. See, yeah, yeah, it was a tight game. Happy it ended in regulation for sure. No extra points. You're right, Casey. J-Lo, Oilers dominated but also made mistakes. They paid for it. McDavid flying in circles made me dizzy. You know what? That He almost hit that one, that top shelf on short side again. He's so good. Man, all-star game, he was he was on display, wasn't he, everyone? So I'm glad they lost, too. Oh, actually, I don't know if – actually, I wasn't glad they lost, to be honest with you. I kind of hope that they – there was this weird thing. I wanted Vegas to win, but I wanted it kind of felt like a win-win for me. But yeah, anyways. I was hoping they'd beat the record. Yeah, I kind of felt like that. So I you know what? I would have been happy if they beat the record. We play in the playoffs and we sweep them. Like, come on, let's talk about that. That's what I, I have Oilers fan friends, and they always talk about how bad Canucks are. They don't like them since the riot happened. That, and that's fine, Shane. Like, I, I don't know. Like, none of us like that the riots happened, right? So, but are you gonna are you gonna blame the whole fan base or a bunch of crazy people who lost their minds, who did stupid stuff, who got fined, who were punished for doing what they did? Like it it's embarrassing. We understand, but that doesn't re represent all of us. We're not all like that, right, Shane? So, Jack, we have five all stars. That power play is so gross. Oh, dude, we're we're insanely good. Other fans, especially salty about the win, uh, when Coos Lindholm trade. So yeah, that's true. That's true. You like that win win trade, but yeah, I mean they're well. I mean okay, but think about it. Sorry, I keep going. Back. I gotta. I gotta pause for a second longer so I can just collect my thoughts but like they got Corey Perry playoff performer Corey Perry so they shouldn't be salty that's the thing it's weird Oilers fans can be weird that way I was rooting for Vegas when Tockett said he does not want the Oilers to match their Penguins record oh that's a good point I have been a Canucks fan since the old skate jersey and then old whale jersey yep that's cool. Okay, James, Edmonton versus Vegas. I watched it. It was tight. 
but not a playoff game in respects to intensity. If the Canucks played either of those teams, they would have beaten them. Woo, bold take. This just in. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. My older friend, uh, for older fan friends always tease me about how the Canucks weren't going to win tonight or much this season. Well, yeah, but they're wrong, Shane. And you can tell them that we're first place. We're first pa- place, baby. We're first place. That's right. Anyways. You can check out a player's stats. But go, yeah. Oh, she knows that. She knows that. She just wanted to ask here. Eight million times four reasonable. I think that is reasonable. I don't know if we can afford that, but I think it's reasonable. I'm UP Gamer. I'm from the future. We lost again to the Boston Bruins. I don't think we did. <laughs> Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> up, gamer. I love it. I love the comment. I, I don't mind that you come in and, and say that. It makes me laugh. Uh, Jack says, don't care. The interviews are boring. Uh, winning the cup is more fun. That's right, buddy. That's right. <laughs> it, <do> I... <laughs> Joe, good to see you, man. Go Canucks go, baby. Go Canucks go. Looking up, Chip won. Can I, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Boston and New York Rangers would be a fi- uh, fun final. Uh, yeah, like a, a Eastern Conference final, redemption time. It's a long ways. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, they can only play each other in the semi in the in the conference finals. Yeah, we're, I know you guys are going to come after him now for that. Hunter will be a player, but he won't. Get much power play time with Hughes there. Colin says, I'm a PD fan, but Lindholm at 7.5 is better value than PD at 12. Woo! That's a that's a bold take. I like it. I think Miller would be a bigger loss than PD. Well, the thing is, Miller's signed. Abster is going to come up huge next year. We don't have to play insane amount for bottom six players. And Baines, all-star. All-star MVP, guys, of the HL. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, JLo, you're right. He, him and Lindholm, this is the thing that I'm pumped about these two players. They're both incredibly, incredibly good at, uh, five on five, sorry, at uh d- defensive play. That's what I meant to say. Both selkie players, right? So that, that's going to come up huge in the playoffs. Yeah, they are mishandling him. Um, Canucks m- might be able to steal him for a song. Yeah, I would love that. What are the odds that either Vlander or Pedersen or one of the other defensive prospects will be ready next year? I think it's high because I don't think we're going to – I if we try to re-sign Lindholm, like I said, we're going to lose both of those defensemen. So I think Pedersen 2.0 is going to be up there for sure, for sure next year. I think he's really good. But we'll see. We'll see. We got to see what he does. So, um, yeah. Time to go all in on Kessel now, or Kessel, Phil Kessel. Yeah, no thanks, Jed. I'm with you. No way. <laughs> Let's not do that. What's up with Sportsnet? Flames and Oilers will be replayed, but not Canucks. Well, who cares? We watch it live, so wanted them to beat Vegas. Then, not who cares. Sorry, Sloppy Joe. I wanted them to beat Vegas. Then lose to the ducks oh (laughs) that would have been classic why do you dislike the canucks for the riots who are fans why would you dislike the canucks for yeah exactly that this is the thing like people say this fan base is the worst or that fan base is the worst no every fan base has some doofuses in it for sure every single one you know, just because you cheer for a team doesn't mean you have great character. But there's a lot of great Canucks fans, a lot of loyal, faithful fans who we've never seen a cup win. Okay? We're still here. We're still here. And so we're still cheering on our team. I think I think you're right, Viper. Jay, I always recorded the game when the Canucks win. <laughs> uh, I don't hate the Leafs, but I, um, I'm not sure. Do you think we should grab Benino and sign Kessel for no, 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 no. I I think that was a good pickup by the Oilers, honestly, Casey. So 
Um, I I don't remember a Super Bowl ever having a riot. I don't think so. No, I I don't think so. I mean, it was a long time ago if they did. I don't know. I don't know if he's. I mean, yeah, he has those three years in a row making the finals, right? Is it me or is your viewership up? I mean, I I just think it's also a nice time right now to be a Canucks fan and people want to talk about the Canucks. So thank you so much. Um, Carol, most likely I will be there tonight. I love I love being in Clay's streams. So he's he does great content. So I, I'm planning on being there tonight. Not for I don't know how long though. Kessel is 37 years old, but yeah. No, he he's he he's not even pl- practiced like he's not playing. He's not playing right now. I, I don't think this is the good time. To... <laughs> they just got bought out. Yeah, exactly. Am I a Blue Jays fan? Yes, I am. But let me tell you a quick story, Carol. I am a Blue Jays fan, but Carol, um, I don't watch a lot of baseball because I honestly don't have the time. And in the summer, I rather do other things than watch baseball. So I love the Blue Jays and the Mariners. Those are my two favorite baseball teams. Um, so I, I, there was, there's no better play than the Joe Carter home run to win the World Series in my books. I love the Batista bat throwing stuff. I love that Ricky Henderson was on our team that we won two championships i love uh guerrero jr i love that guy i love a lot of those guys but i don't follow major league very much so just a heads up on that um remote viewer good to have you koozie look great with the flames tonight congrats lindy on two goals yes yes absolutely legend has it myers was climbing street lights and looting stores in 2011 riot yeah I think Corey Perry is built for the playoffs. When can those Canuck flags? You know what? It's a bit weird, J Lo. I have seen people driving around with Canucks flags already. Like it was in December, Oct- no, November. People are driving around with Canucks flags. And I'm like, I haven't seen a Canucks flag on a car in so long. So it, it's been cool. I think we can start now. Come on, Kid and Tire, get going here. Carol, thanks for another gifting another membership. That's very kind of you. Um, I was going to do a I did a show with Clay, and the next day the show shut down. I was the last guest, I believe, on that show. It was the Steve Nangle uh podcast network. Clay and I did it, and my video glitched the whole time, which was weird because my as you know, my videos never glitch. So um, Clay said it was something on his end, but we have good chemistry, Clay and I, on podcasts together. We're really good. I mean, I should say that he's really good, but I just felt like we had good chemistry. I mean, you guys tell me if I'm wrong or not. Carol always gives me memberships on Clay's channel as well. I know. She's so kind. She's so generous, right? Seattle's my favorite. So the, the Mariners, it's closest to BC. I only watch the playoffs. Yeah. Gravely. Nice statement win. Canucks fans, two goals down. Good payment on that big. Yeah. No, it's it's awesome. That's it makes the trade feel so much better, right? Somebody get Pedersen some dual blade skates. <laughs> I, I used them when I was three years old and barely lost my footing ever. <laughs> That's awesome. That's got to be comment of the night. Messier 11, well done. <laughs> Should we bring back the U2 song for a playoffs? I would be pumped to have it, honestly. Also, you know what is funny? Is I would also be really, really excited, everyone, to do Nickelback, the burn it to the ground one again, and also the, what's their names? Uh, Green Day. The Green Day stuff. That, that was really good. So I'd be happy with any of those. But U2 song would be epic, honestly. The, the fans would be pumped. 54 more subs. Are you kidding me? Like what? Tonight? Where's my subs at here? I want to check this out. No. 
I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's just look at it again. Let's look again. So what you count? No. Yeah, dude. Oh, 54 until I get to 1,000. That's right. We're on the countdown. What am I thinking? Gravely, thank you so much. I'm almost at 1,000, everyone. If you haven't subscribed and you're in here, there's 75 people in here right now. An hour into the stream and there's 75 people. Man, Clay's one's going to be rocking tonight. But listen, that was that's awesome. So if you could take a moment to hit that like button right now, I'd really appreciate it. Okay? Calgary made Boston look bad at home tonight. That's true. I disturbed love Messier's comment. Okay. Four, 946. I'm on the countdown. 54 to 1,000. I'm pumped. I'm absolutely pumped. I have watched the Blue Jays since, since started. Uh, unfortunately for me, I can't get out too much. So really enjoy it on TV. Yeah, that's that's true. That I mean, they have good games. And they seem to have no, looked like they're going to have another great year, right? Yeah, dude. I'm all, I can't believe it. I mean, part of these things... I, I thought it would be here already. I thought it was going to be here by Christmas, but I'm so thankful. Yeah, I, I think I think each podcaster needs to decide what kind of podcaster they want to be. Do they want to be the one that causes dissension or just appreciation that each one works really hard to make good Vancouver Canucks content? So I'm thankful that I've been on Locked On. I'm thankful that Canuck Clave had me on. I want to have those guys on my channel. Um, I've also got some other people that I want to have on the channel this year. So I'm really excited about that. Now, that's great, Coach Rob. I wish we could all get up. To yes, 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 yes. What do you think of Lynn Holmes' personality? Will the chemistry potentially be slightly disturbed with the locker room presence? No, I don't think so. I think this team is just, they're at the place where they're like, we want to win. I want to win. You know what I mean? Like, so uh, in my honest opinion, I think, I don't think he's a great interview. He's okay. But interviews don't matter. Scoring goals, winning games matter. But I don't, think the chemistry is going to be real i mean the core of the chemistry is really it's miller hughes demko Pedersen, brock um I, I even myers has been here for a long time now uh joshua uh, garland's been here for a while now like i i think i think the chemistry is great and then you've gotten zadorov's coming in and then you got Bluger that's jumped in. Cole, that's a quality guy. Yeah, I, I like it too. But we all have to decide. All right. Do you sit, see that hit on Marshawn and put a glimmer of small offense? I did not see it. All right. Doc was uh, that. Doc, that was a penalty on him. Yeah. Okay, everyone, so it's been an hour and three minutes. We've talked about the Oilers. We've talked mostly about the Canucks, of course. But I want to show you one thing before we get there. Um, I'm going to see if I can get to this here. If you haven't seen this yet, I hope you really see it. Okay, so if I go and share this with you add to stage no i don't want that there i want this here okay let's see if i can get this we're going to plan b oh i just watched this movie okay, it was okay. awesome what is that so good okay i don't know if you guys have seen but i've rebranded my other channel my nfl channel and it's Rev Trev NFL. So please check it out. I'm on TikTok and on Facebook, on Instagram. No, not on Instagram, on X and on YouTube. And here's my Super Bowl predictions video. I should post this in the comments, everyone. I should post this in the comments. Please go check out my channel. By the way, this is us right here. Think about that. Isn't that cool? Okay. So check this out. 
Check this out, okay, everyone? Check out this video. My Super Bowl predictions are there. They're up. They're live. This is what it looks like. It's interesting that it's showing. Show, oh, I know why, because I got to do this, right? Can you see that now? Go check that out. Go check that out. All right, everyone. It's so good to have you here on an now or five minutes. The the February Canucks prediction videos out. The Super Bowl prediction videos out on my other channel. Um, definitely check me out. So that's the other thing is Rev Trev NFL. I'm on TikTok now. I just did a Packers rant that you should go on and check out. It's worth it. Um, and like Messier uh, wants the Niners to win. Travis Kelsey is an our no. <laughs> yes. You got to fight for your right to party. Who are you guys cheering for? 49ers? Oh, interesting. Interesting. Would you be against the CFL being bought up by the NFL? Can it? No. A hundred percent we should do that. If the NFL, wouldn't that be so cool? Winnipeg, Vancouver, um, Toronto, um, Sus you know, Saskatoon, uh, not Saskatoon, Regina, which would be it would be awesome for like Montreal. I would love that. That's probably the best thing I've read on the CFL in a long time, man. Be careful. <laughs> uh, all right. So Vipers cheering for the Chiefs. Seahawks fan here. Don't cheer. I don't cheer for the 49ers either. I can't. They keep beating my Packers. I love to see if the CFL, the way it is, it's all Canadian. I, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of it compared to the NFL. NFL is such an awesome product, but I'd love for the BC Lions to be in the NFL. It'd be awesome. How would, yeah, why would the NFL buy? They wouldn't. Well, I mean, if they did it and put it as like our stuff, they would. They would. Underdogs, Chiefs. The Chiefs are not underdogs. They got to be the favorites, aren't they? So. Oh, cat, you're getting you're 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 trying to be funny here, okay? All righty. I'll stick to my what? Okay. Stadium capacity probably isn't enough for an NFL team. BC Place would. BC Place would. Um the Rough Riders one would as well, I think, but maybe the other ones wouldn't. So but maybe I'm wrong on that. Anyways, everyone, I'm going to shut down the stream tonight. Thank you so much for coming and being here and being a part of this channel. We are on the road to a thousand and uh, we've had a great time together tonight. Thank you so much for jumping in. I didn't get to everyone's comments that were at the beginning. I mean, there were so many comments at the beginning and we got like, like Callum, right? Lemon is his first one. Yeah. Yeah, there are some good ones in here. But anyways, I'm going to let everyone go. Thank you for being here. Check out Clay's channel. It starts in six and a half minutes. And uh, appreciate each one of you. Appreciate each one of you so much. Cut course always. Uh, I'm going to be doing another stream after the Boston game, probably the same time. And I forget what this, the schedule is. Do we play Boston next? Or do we play him on Saturday? I think we play him Saturday, don't we? Anyways, either way, I'm streaming. Check out the conversation. Come join it. Let your friends know. 55 people at 108 minutes. This is awesome. Have a great night and go Canucks. Go.